Hunting is a great way to level gathering while making money either selling the meat, blood, or hide. But did you know you could level trading while also making money using the hunting trophies instead of just discarding or vendoring them in? Welcome back to the channel all about low skilling. My name's Teddy and having all the trade item values increased with the new trading rework today, I'll be showing you how to start taking those hunting trophies like usable skins or horns for example and turn them into the trade goods that can be sold for millions of while earning trade experience in the process. So, if you're curious on what to do with all those hunting trophies, or wanted more workshops for your worker empire, get those workers fed, and start those handicraft workshops to start making hunting trade goods to sell. I'm out here in Glitch where I have my handicraft workshop pumping out trade goods to be turned in for extra money and some trade experience on the side. Any handicraft workshop will do so choose which one's best for you. Those do a lot of hunting and have huge stockpiles of trophies, using workers to process them down further is a great way to get a little extra from hunting. The handicraft workshops are great for making certain weapons like amulets and staffs but for this the level 1 workshop is going to be the focus. In here has horn decorations, tooth bracelets, leather bags, beak masks, ivory flutes, leather dusters, and lastly mufflers. Crafting each will require the green, blue, or yellow grade hides, blackstone powder, and the trophy matching the good you're making like the beak masks need the beaks, while the horn decorations need the horns. The value will increase for each grade, with the greens being as low as 800,000 to almost 3 mil a yellow grade trade good. Now, as some of you may have thought, getting each trading good will require different animals to be hunted, which I will leave a link down in the description below to Grumpy Green's guide to which animal provides which trade good, but also something to keep in mind. Hunting mastery affects the chance of getting higher grade goods when butchering, 250 to 554 green, 551 to 900 mastery for blue, and finally 901 mastery and above for yellows. The yellow and blue grade hides can be downgraded to the previous grade either using simple alchemy on one hide, or to mass process, 10 hides and one blackstone powder can be used. Taking supreme or usable hides to either Chuck Lorre here in Balanos Mountains or Rase the Hunter here in Narcion can downgrade them too. So if you have more intact tooth or damage hide, they can still be made with a little downgrading. But to make the most money, stick to using only the green grade items. Once you have the hunting drops needed and in the storage where you have the handicraft workshop, you can start to send workers to start crafting those hunting trade goods. Having workers make hunting trade goods has no bonus skills to increase the amounts of goods like with the ore packing or the repeat skills, but instead we focus on refund and work speed skills. This way, we have a chance of keeping some materials while not having to take too long to craft. As for the kind of worker to use, choose the artisan worker that reflects your playstyle. Goblins are the active players with needing to be fed constantly, humans are in the middle, and giants for the less active player since they don't need to be fed that much. Getting a good amount of trade goods to sell will take some time, but once you have everything ready, it's time to start making money from these. Luckily the weight from the hunting trade goods are not as high as the crates or active trade goods, so they can be placed on a mount or wagon to manually move, or can be sent to another region using the transport wagon, which now after the trade rework is the only way to sell these. For this making the most money and the closest earns the most experience, being able to quickly send more goods or manually haul them. Once at the region, remember to always bargain for more silver back. The higher your trade level, the higher your bargain profit will be, so master and guru traders will make more than a beginner, but with the extra money comes experience drop off at master trading and above. I hope this helps you start turning all those hunting trophies into millions, or wanting to go out to hunt for the passive income. With the update to trade prices, making a fortune on the side is easier than ever. Having a way to earn some trade experience, and with no money needing to be spent to make money, like with the other life skilling activities, the hunting trade trophies are perfect for those wanting to get more workshops pumping out billions a month. As always, if you want to see how to level those life skills faster or just want to start making more money in Black Desert Online, click this video here and I'll see you in the next guide.